There was a Jewish U.S. serviceman who was there at the time of the liberation of the camps at the end of World War II. And they were, he was given instructions by his commanding officer. His commanding officer briefed his platoon and said, look, what you're about to see is like nothing you've ever seen in your life. And I want you to know that the food supplies that were given to you to share were given to be shared with inhabitants of the cities we were in, but not with those who are in the concentration camps. They have only eaten morsels of food for the last months and years. And if you give them food, you will literally kill them. Do not give them any food. And it was with this instruction that the, this U.S. serviceman, this Jewish serviceman, walked in to liberate the concentration camps and to see what he truly had never seen before, what, he, what no human should ever see thereafter. He saw barracks full of emaciated Jews, emaciated children, skin and bones. And when he walked into one barrack full of children, one child came up to him and started to beg him for food. And he knew, as much as this child was literally starving from hunger, he could not pull out of his backpack a chocolate bar and give it to the child. And he looked at the child and he thought to himself, and he said to this child in his broken Yiddish, I have no food that I can give you, but there's one thing that I can give you. I can give you a hug. And with that, he picked up this bony child and he hugged this little boy. And as he put this child down, tears started to come to his eyes because he suddenly saw from all sides of the room children getting up, children who barely had the strength to stand on their feet, getting up and standing in line. These were children who perhaps wouldn't live another day without food, and they all got up and stood in line, not for a piece of food, not for a drink, they got in line for a hug. The prophet Amos writes a prophecy that he received from God. And he writes that there is going to be a day where lo ra'av lalechem v'lotsam alamayim. People will not hunger for food. They will not thirst for water. Kiim l'shmoa Hashem, they will thirst to hear the word of God. These children demonstrated something that I and you must never forget. That even more than the food and the water, a human being needs a hug. A human being needs to be told that I am lovable, that I am significant that people care about me, that they know that I make a difference. And you know what? When we give a child a hug, when we give a child a hug, we are demonstrating to them that they can step forth in life trusting and having faith that they have something to contribute to the universe. And it even gives them the empowerment to trust God and to have faith in God because they now know from that hug that I am worthy, that I am lovable, that I was put here because I can make a difference. Think for a moment, as I'm thinking right now, who are we thinking about when we hear this story? We're thinking about our children. That is who I'm thinking about. And I'm reminding myself that more than all of those wonderful things that I provide my children with, 
to tell myself what a great father I am, there is one thing more than them all that I must not overlook, and that is the hug that my child is waiting for. To be educated, taught, and to be able to step in this world knowing that they are lovable and they make a difference. We spend so much time giving our children so many things that they want. Are we giving them the one thing that they need? This is the reason why on January 12th, 2015, I will begin teaching a six-week course called The Art of Parenting because I want to instill within myself and instill within you the focus that we must have in raising our children. It's the greatest gift we can give them. It's also the greatest investment we can give ourselves. How much time did we spend learning how to be a parent? Nine hours are our children worth the nine hours for us to spend time talking about being a good parent so that our child can have the one thing that they really need as they're going to grow up and step forth in life. Please join me. Try the first class for free. You won't be disappointed.